in this video we are going to talk about the CIA tried it is confidentiality integrity and availability so these are the three pillars of security right and you will be using them almost everywhere you won't be directly using them you won't be practically using them but yes everything in cyber security will map to these three values so what is c c is confidentiality so what do you mean by confidentiality when you are sending someone a message you want to make sure that it reaches the intended receiver and not someone else if it reaches other people if other people are able to understand that message it is going to be considered as loss of confidentiality so how do you ensure confidentiality you can ensure confidentiality using encryption if a sends a message to b through any sort of channel most of the times these channels are considered to be insecure and there could be a person c who is sniffing the channel right so what a could do is a could encrypt the messages and then send them to b this way confidentiality can be ensured now let's talk about integrity integrity is going to make sure that the messages are not tampered with the communication does not get altered so if a sends a message to b using an insecure channel and when c tries to get that message what c would do is he would try to change that message so for example a could be sending a message where he would demand b to send some money at a particular address let's say upi id now what b could do is b could take that message and change the upi id to his own so how do you make sure that integrity is not compromised integrity stays intact you you will have to perform hashing now coming to the last pillar of cia tried so the last pillar is going to be availability now what do you think availability is in cia no it does not refer to the devices going bad or the cables going faulty now if there is an attacker who is trying to make sure that the messages does not reaches the intended receiver and is trying to stop the messages through any possible way it will be considered as loss of availability some examples of loss of availability would be like the dhcp starvation attack or the poisoning attacks right because through these techniques an attacker can make sure that the services are not available to the receiver let's take another example if you are trying to access the website of flipkart or amazon during the sale period and if there is someone who's trying to poison the servers or who has sent too many requests to the server so that legitimate users cannot join or cannot connect to the website then it is considered as loss of availability so how can you ensure availability by using ddos protection and by using different types of techniques based on the layers so that no one can compromise availability so that is going to be all for this video on c i n a in the next video we'll learn some new topics thank you